Today, I'm making blueberry cookies with lemon drizzle. And here are the ingredients that we need. One cup of sugar, a half a cup of butter, one egg, two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of lemon juice, I'm using real lemon, and also you need a cup of dried blueberries. Now, the blueberries that I bought were from Costco. These are them here. I usually use craisins for this recipe, but I saw these the other day when I was there and I thought I would try out the same recipe with these. So today we're gonna try that. So these are the ingredients that we need. So let's get started. All right, the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna cream the butter and the sugar. So I'm gonna take the butter and pop it into our KitchenAid mixing bowl and I'm gonna pop in all the sugar and I'm using the paddle for this so I'm gonna set this up and we'll get this going all right that looks pretty good the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my egg and I always like to crack my egg into a bowl before I pour it in to a larger bowl like this just in case you get a, a, you know, a piece of shell. So I'll just crack that open. It's a good habit to get into because it's a lot easier pulling out a little piece of shell in here rather than the large bowl. So just a little tip, just wash my fingers off here. Alright, so let's get our... Mixer going again. And we'll pop the egg in. And we'll let that go, and I'll be back. I'm just gonna let this mix up just a little bit. All right, now this is all nicely come together, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the rest of the ingredients that we have here. Just pop everything in and the lemon juice. We'll get that going. Now at this point, what I'm gonna do, I still have the blueberries to go in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I wanna get this on camera. I'm gonna take the blueberries and I'm gonna put them into my bowl. I'm gonna take a little bit of the flour just so that we can mix this around. Now I'm gonna take the rest of our, the two cups of flour, I'm gonna get all of that in. And we'll get this going. Let me just move it back in so we can see it on the camera. I also have my oven going at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, here is our mixture. So all I did was I took a little bit of the flour of our two cups, our original two cups of flour, and I just dumped it in here. And why did I do that? Well, that's just to gently coat all of the blueberries so that they don't stick together when they're in the actual batter. Because we want to form our cookies and we want to have the blueberries equally, you know, spread over the actual, you know, the whole, the whole dough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dump all of this in in one shot and then we're just going to quickly mix this up and then they're ready to, you know, we're ready to go to the next stage. So I'll get this going. And that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clean up my work area and I'll be back. Alrighty, so what I could do is I could take some and put it on some plastic wrap and what I'll do is just gently roll it up. The consistency of this is very much like a shortbread, you know, something you would make at uh, Christmas. 
If you look at one of my other videos, I have the same kind of technique that I'm using here that I do for... Um, oh, that's good. My other cookies. You know, it all depends on how much work you want to do. You know, a lot of people might want to roll something out, roll out the dough and cut shapes, but this is a great way to go and it's so easy and it really saves a lot of time. So there we go. So what we could do with this one here is we can put that in the fridge. So I'm going to pop that in the fridge and uh, we'll, we'll try these ones out later. All right, I've got my little ice cream scoop here. So what we're going to do is just take a little bit of cookie dough and we're going to pop it down. And get another one. Just pop them onto your tray. Get another one down there. There we go. All right, so let me just move these around. So I'm going to pop these in the oven, 375 degrees, and for about 10, 10, 11 minutes. So I'm going to pop these in and we'll be back. Alrighty. So here are my cookies that I just took out. These are the ones that I used the scoop on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some up from my refrigerated roll and I'll show you those. Alright, so here's our little dough. So continue on doing this and I'll be back. All right, I've got my cookies here. I'm going to bake these at 375 degrees for about 11 minutes. Alrighty, so what I'm going to make here is a little topping for our cookies and this is called lemon drizzle. So what you're going to do is you're going to take half a cup of confectioner sugar and you're going to dump that into a bowl and I've got a tablespoon of real lemon and I'm going to pop that in there and I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to gently mix this. So we're going to use that to put on top of our cookies after. Alright, here are our cookies right out of the oven. These have been in the oven for exactly 10 minutes at 375 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get those off the sheet. So there we go. So we'll let those cool and we'll be back later. Now I'm going to take my lemon drizzle that we made earlier and I'm just going to get it on a fork here. And what you can do is you can just gently go over the tops of the cookies like this. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this. You might not want this much sweetness on top of a cookie. Some people like it, some people don't. But it's up to you. But it's got a nice little flavor to it. And we'll just do a little bit more. There we go. All right. So those are those. I'm going to wait for my other cookies to cool and we'll drizzle those as well with the lemon drizzle and I'll be back later. Alright, our cookies have cooled right down now and I have my lemon drizzle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix it so that it's nice and mixed. And then I'm just going to take it and we're going to start drizzling over the cookies. Do whatever kind of design you want. Doesn't really matter. So again, this is confectioner sugar and lemon juice. The real lemon I'm using out of the bottle. And a little bit more here. And there you have it. So there's our finished product. Blueberry cookies with lemon drizzle. So try out that recipe. Let me know how it goes and I'll see you next time.